Hi guys, my name is Liran and I'm Director of Product Marketing at Halo. Welcome to uh, CES 2020. Today I'm going to talk about the Halo 8 and will show you the latest demonstration. As a reminder, the Halo 8 is an AI processor for edge devices. A single device like that is a 26 tera operation, does not require external memory, and therefore enables you to get a very high power efficiency across multiple applications. As a reminder, in Embedded Vision Summit in May 2019, we showed you the classic classification near network Resident 50. We were able to show around 600 FPS with a lower resolution of 224 by 224. Now the question is, why do we need this high FPS, 600 FPS? So what can we do with this horsepower? One alternative is to go to a higher resolution, HD or Full HD, and to do the AI processing. Today, the existing solution uh, does not able to uh, accommodate the processing of the Full HD or uh, HD, and they are, able, they are doing the downscale of the input resolution in order to meet real time. In the case of Halo, we, are not, we don't need to do the downscale, we are able to work on the full resolution. And the second alternative, depending on the application, is to go to a multiple stream with a lower resolution and we will show it to you uh, as well. So let's start with the first demonstration. The first demonstration is MobileNet SSD HD resolution. The input from the camera is HD resolution. Again, we are not doing any downscale on that one. We are able to see a classic detection of a person, a, a chair, and, and so on. And all of this is in the envelope of uh, 0.4 watt. This is quite amazing and we are able also to touch the device itself and it's working from the morning, it doesn't hit. This is one example. The alternative, if we'll go here, we can take multiple stream with lower resolution, in this case we have 12 streams Two out of them is from uh, live cameras. One is a webcam and the other one is internal one. All the resolution here is 300 by 300. So we have 12 streams, 300 by 300, running mobile net uh, uh, SSD. And all of this is in the envelope of less than one watt. Uh, and again, this chip is running from the morning, a very low power. So. Basically, it's depending on the on customer what is the trade-off that it will be. If to go to a higher FPS, a higher uh, full resolution, uh, or to go to multiple stream. Here we have a full HD a semantic segmentation. Again, this is a standard network. All the network that I'm showing you right now is network that uh, original network, the original paper, we didn't do any uh, pruning on that one and we run them. Here it's semantic segmentation, a resolution of uh, full HD 1220 by 1080. And here we are running it in a, a less than 1.1 watt. The power efficiency of this demo is around 1.8 tops per watt. And now I would like to show you uh, two demos that is with collaboration with two distinguished companies. The one is called Socionex and the other one is called Eon and we'll explain. In the case of uh, Socionex, what we are doing is collaboration using a Boxy Edge. Boxy Edge is a device that uh, we plug a Halo 8 M.2 module. You can see the Halo 8 here. And it is a standard uh, PCI interface that you plug in into the device itself. It enables you to connect uh, multiple cameras, for example, and to process uh, uh, the AI on the um, Halo 8. Uh, in this case, we are showing several cameras that are uh, mounted here, a multiple stream, a mobile net SSD as a detector, a resolution 300 by 300, very low power, less than one watt. And again, we can scale up in terms of the amount of uh, cameras that we're able to connect. Uh, and this device is going to a retail store, for example, going to uh, smart uh, cities, for example, to see all kind of, uh, it's very cost effective in terms of the amount of camera that you need to process with a single Halo 8 device. So this is the first collaboration with Socionex, a Japanese uh, customer. And the second one is called Aeon. 
Eon is from Taiwan, is part of the ASUS, and they provide a box that is in vehicle a network video analytic platform. In this case, similar to the M.2 module, we provide M a mini PCIe module, again, Halo 8, a PCIe interface, plug into the device itself. In this case, we are showing a, another a demo. This is called the pose estimation. Pose estimation is basically to identify the body part, can be used for a gaming, can be used for elderly people if they are falling, can be used for other uh, behavior, uh, for example, violence in smart cities. We are providing the building blocks, not the application level, but uh, you, you are able to run it on the Halo 8 device. So basically what you saw here today at our suite is a variety of neural network and application that we are running, able to run on a single Halo 8 device. So we would like to show you the uh, the versatility of the device itself. The Halo 8 was not developed for a specific task, and it's very, in, across all this application, the power efficiency is quite high. If you want to learn more about the Halo 8 and the value proposition, you are welcome to visit us at uh, the Visit Our website, halo.ai. Thank you, and see you next time.